angry guy here. Passport bros are leaving and women are upset. Today we're discussing how passport bros are leaving and women are upset. I mean, guys, what did you expect to happen? I told you this is going, this is a this is a smaller part. The password bros are a smaller part of the MWA men walking away movement, which is basically men walking away from Western society and Western women. And I mean, we're going to delve into this further because guys, this is not going to stop anytime soon. It's literally, I told you guys, right now it's a trend. Trends because <laughs> Trends become normalities, and normal and normalities, normalities become traditions. Think about that very carefully. Trends become normalities, and normalities become traditions, and that's exactly where we're heading. Where it's going to become a, tr a tradition to go and find a wife overseas, so just like Christmas. It's going to become a normal thing. So here we have a video, and this one actually comes from us from Ambezo. He put together a compilation, and we're going to watch this. We're going to look at this compilation. Passive bros are leaving, and modern women are upset. And I mean, guys, what else would you expect? So I had a man literally text me, do you want to go on a date this week? And I'm like, ah, yeah, like, yeah, a date. Are you kidding me? But little did I know, chivalry is dead. And he says, yeah, come over and watch a movie. Good job, my brother. We rocking with you. <laughs> Cinderella lost one shoe and found love. Y'all girls out here getting half naked and still single. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. Dude, that's a big dude with confidence. Confid Listen, this big dude will go overseas, find himself a mamacita, find himself a quality lady, all right, that is happy to have him and call him Big Papa, all right? Y'all, listen to me. These women are taking a big L right now. A big L. A big L. Big dudes going overseas. These Filipinas are like, that's just more to love. All right? Does he work? Yes, he works. Is he not in the streets? He is not in the streets. All right? She will take him. She'll say, that's more of him for me. More of him for me. I'm telling y'all, men have undervalued themselves. All right? And I'm tell you how I'm tell you how you know this, because you'll see these big you see these women who are huge, so fat, so heavy, and and they have simps lining up to date them in the West, lining up to put a ring on it, all right, telling them they're so beautiful and all this other crap, and they're getting married, they're fighting, and they're finding men who will marry them. But in reality, but if it's a if it's a big fat dude in the in the West, he better have some real big fat pockets. All right, because women in the West, they want a man who's in shape. They want a man who's tall. They want a man who has money. Like he has to have it all. All right. But go overseas. You can have a dude that's a heavy set dude, but he takes care of himself. I'm not saying that every man should be in shape. Every man should be in shape. I'm just but I'm telling you how it is. But you can have dudes who are heavy. All right, but they have jobs and savings. Jobs, savings, and they take care of themselves. They're heavy, but they dress well, they live well, and they're not out in the streets. And there are women overseas that are glad to have to have them. They are glad to have them. Because they are family men. They are family guys. All right. What's your body count looking like right now? <laughs> I can't even tell you. It's like 45. Older you again? Whoa. 20. 45. 45. She has a 45 body count at 20 years old. 45 body count at 20 years old? Come on. All right. She turned. It's been two years. Guys, I've, I've been with over 200 women, but I'm almost 40 years old. I'll be 40 this year. I'll be 40 in October. I'm almost 40 years old, guys. Okay, I'm an old dude, okay? So that number, it took me a while. It took me a while. With over 200 girls, but it's, it's, it's taken me some time to do that, okay? And some of those women were whores. A lot of those women were whores. This girl, she's been with over 40, for what, her body count is 45 guys at the age of 20. 
20 in two years. That's mm. so just imagine what her body count is going to look like at the age of 30. All right. Think about that carefully. Think about that carefully. I mean, if she's literally, she's literally averaging something like 22.5, 22.5 guys every year. Let's say she's been with 22.5 guys every year since she turned 18, which is probably, I mean, she's probably doing it before she was 18. But let's say she's been with like 22.5 guys since every year since she turned 18. And, and here's the thing about a woman. If a woman says that her body count was 45, it's probably 80. You double it. This is what guys, this is what they always say. Whatever a woman tells you her body count is, double it. So she said 45 is probably 80. So I was about to do some 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 math there. I fuck that shit because it's gonna be entirely off. You can't trust whatever a woman tells you. If she says 45, that means shoot, it's at least 80 dudes. It's at least 80 dudes. At least 80 dudes. Funny, and your body count is 45. 45. Oh, she belongs to the streets. So are you cheating on your husband with him? Oh man! Yes, we actually met here two really? months ago. He's here, a cop. He she's so been cheating two bars. months. I met him at because I was here for a bachelorette, and the rest was we history. Rest history. Yeah, just tell me. No, I met him two months ago. Yeah, he's great. So we're just like figuring it out. Okay. How long have you been married? Eight, uh, six years. Why do you want to leave him? Is he a piece of shit? Not at all. The check's gonna be together or separate. You gonna let me hit that tonight? This is our first date. It'll be separate. <laughs> Guys, uh, can you ask us out in person? No more DMs. No, 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 no more DM, daddy. No more DMs, daddy. Uh, 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 no, this is what you all get. This is what y'all deserve. Mm -mm. You don't deserve decent men aren't playing that shit or decent men aren't in, aren't in your DMs. They're grabbing their passport and get the fuck out. Get the fuck up out of here. Let me tell you what's really happening. You have the men that are leaving the country, and then you have the men who've just given up on sex. Like literally, these men are they stopped they stopped working and they stopped dating. They're not going, they're not going on dates anymore, and they're not working anymore. They're staying at home, living with mom. These motherfuckers are sleeping well. I was reading a comment from one of these dudes, literally getting a full eight hours of sleep eating very, very well, and have sworn to never work another day in their lives. There are men who have sworn to never work another day in their lives. All right? This is what Western society has done to men. Right now in South Korea, they're trying to raise, they're trying to raise the, average, the, the work week to 69 hours. They want to raise it to 69 hours. They want to make the normal work week 69 hours because they have the lowest birth rates in the world. So they know lower than Japan. So now they don't have enough people to work anymore. They don't have enough people to do the jobs. Machines can't do these jobs. All right. So what are they going to do? We're going to increase the work week to 69 hours a week. People will, people will, you know, you've got to be kidding, man. There's been back, there was, there was so much backlash that they, they, they walked it back, but I don't even know if that's permanent. All right. This is their mad, this is their grand plan. And women can't work those hours. It's men working those hours. So they want men to work 69 hours and they're not going to increase the pay. They're not going to increase the pay. What they're going to do is reduce the pay. So then, and then, and try to like spread it out. They're gonna say, "Oh, 69 hours." That's so that's 70 hours. Because what? That's what they're gonna do. They're gonna call it salary. They're gonna call it salary. They're not. You're not gonna make more. So if you have, if you're, if you're making 60, 70 thousand dollars a year, you're not gonna go. You know, they're gonna jump you up to 69 hours a, a week. You're not getting paid more. No, you're just not required to work more. All right, you're required to work more, and you're not getting paid more. This is madness. This is, it's, guys, it's slave labor. It is slave labor, slave labor. I, I mean, think about the logics, logistics. This is what they're really doing. They're trying to turn salary and salaried employees into, um, into hardcore slaves. Like uh, 69 hours a week. How, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck is that? 69 hours a week. 
I mean, usually a normal work week is five days. It's five. Um, it's five days. I mean, I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out the math on this one. Sixty nine hours. So so basically, if you do that over five days, they want people to work thirteen point eight hours a day, which is essentially fourteen hours a day. Fourteen. It's thirteen point eight. So that's fourteen. That is 14. Just average it off. That's round it off. That's 14 hours a day. They want people to work 14 hours a day and then t tell them, well, oh, but you still have 10 days for you still have 10 hours for yourself. You, you still have 10 hours for yourself. Okay. You can still get a full eight hours. Maybe, you know, if, if you give or take and you have an hour to piss and shit shower and like, you know, and a couple of minutes to eat in between. Like guys, think about that. If you're if you're supposed to sleep six to eight hours, if if, if the average person needs a good eight hours of sleep, right? Let's be realistic. Eight hours is what, what normal people are supposed to get. A lot of us don't get eight hours, but that's what you're supposed to get. So if you're supposed to sleep eight hours a day, because these people are trying to say like, oh, maybe you'll sit, you know you can live, you get away with six. If eight hours a day is what you're supposed to get, that only leaves two hours, bro. That only leaves two hours. And I'm trying to like figure this shit out right now because a lot of people, for a lot of people, it takes them about an hour to get to work. All right. And it also takes you time in the morning to get ready. I mean, it takes you like, if it takes you like an hour to get to work and it takes you like an hour to get home, then that doesn't leave, that doesn't leave um, any time to sleep. It doesn't leave it doesn't leave a full eight hours of sleep. So how does that work out then? Because you have to get ready in the morning. So that's gonna be like 30 minutes at least, unless you're running, right? So like you get out of bed, you immediately rush to the bathroom, you 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 know, you shower and all this other shit. I'm just like trying to I'm trying to figure this, I'm trying to figure this one out right now. I mean, let's let's continue thinking on this. You know, you sh you you wake up in the morning, and you try to sh you don't you try to shit and shower, and get yourself ready. You gotta sh you have to do you have to shave because I, you know, I shave I shave I'm bald. I shave every day. I shave every day to get to to, to maintain that. Like check out this check out this dude right here in the picture. Like the guy doing the video. Um, am Benzo. Like no, like look at that smooth smooth bald head. Y'all don't know how much work goes into a bald head, goes into this bald head. Like I, I shave my entire face, I shave my, I shave my entire body, I shave my arms, my legs usually, um, you know, balls, all of that, everything, you know, shave everything. And but I try to do, but the head, the head and face, I do every single day. And the thing is, like, to shave your head, you have to actually, you have to like, you know, you have to exfoliate your skin to shave your head and face. You have to exfoliate. So you have to wash, you know, you have to like, you know, wash your head, like, you know, you know, wash your head, get it wet, soap it up, whatever, clear, clear off any dust or dirt on it. And, um, and then also you have to do your face and, you know, again, wash your face, clear off any dust or dirt on it. For me personally, I don't want to get like, you know, it's usually best to open up your pores. Usually the best to like, you know, um, use warm water to open up your pores. And like I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to get bumps or anything. So what I usually do is I usually jump into the shower first. I'll take my bath, I'll take my shower, scrubby the dub, and then I will also like you know wash my head and wash my face with in with warm with hot water. So this way, like I can open my pores up, and then I'll get out of the shower. This is crazy, I know, but this is just my ritual, and I've, I have not always been like this. What I used to do is I used to actually just just shave in the shower, but the shower is like really small right now. But I used to shave in the shower. That's what some guys do. I used to just shave in the shower. Or that used to work for me. So that's one thing that you guys could do. But um, but that's back when I used to have a, a, a night a really big shower. I'm gonna be moving again, hopefully soon enough. As so I'll have another, I'll have a bigger shower again. But like you know, there are different things. Like to get, it takes a while. It's it's like you have to work for these ball heads. You have to work for these ball heads. So like. Just like women have to take time to put on their makeup. I mean, some girls, like, I guess they could do their makeup in, like, 10, 15 minutes. Or, but, I mean, to do your makeup right, I don't know. 
I, I like I'm trying I'm like trying to do the math here, guys. Like you gotta you have to work with me like 69 hours a week. Like, what kind of life are you supposed to live? You know? I don't like the videos about password bros leaving him leave it, but like 69 hours a week in, in South Korea. That's the kind of bullshit they're pulling right now. And then you wonder why men are saying, yeah, fuck this shit. We're not even fucking around. We're not even doing this shit anymore. We're just not going to work anymore because this is really what it is. It's about putting men to work for like extraneous amounts of hours until the point where like it's straight up slavery. It is. It's straight up slavery. It's 100 percent slavery. Like you don't have time. You literally have no time to do anything. You have no time to eat. Because, like, for example, you're gonna you you will always have to watch what you eat because you can't eat anything that's gonna make your stomach hurt. So you have to have very very light meals going to bed and go. You know, when you come home from from work, you're gonna have a light meal for dinner. All right. When you're going to when you're going to um going into the office, you probably won't have breakfast at all. You just maybe you and you and you know, I want to say a cup of coffee, but a lot of people are gonna skip the cup of coffee because co a lot of cup you know coffee can um coffee is a diuretic. So for a lot of people, you don't want to poop when you're at work. So there's a lot of people that might skip the coffee entirely. So they might turn to Diet, Co Diet Coke. I mean, sh shit. This is a miserable life. This is why so many guys are literally dropping out of society. None of that. Girls love to get asked out in person. It doesn't happen anymore. Please Nobody come up to us. Out. We're nice. No, you're the not. we're going to say is no. A few uh, moments later. A lot of world problems would be solved if men just like cease to exist. Yeah. I'm a strong yeah, yeah, woman. I can do anything and I don't need you. What do you want? Can you help me open this? No way. <laughs> what do you say? What's the grimiest thing you've ever done? I was hooking up with this guy and then I I cleaned up her throw up this morning. All of it, all over the house, the shower. I'm like mom for this girl. Her throw up. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. If a man wanted me to be their girlfriend, with what I know now, if I wasn't married, I would say all expenses paid. Okay, if you're not going to propose, that's fine. $10 million placed in my account right now. Who the fuck are you, bitch? How many guys did you have sex with? Ten million guys. Look at this one right here. How many guys have you been with? Look at this. Look at this little hero, hero, hero looking bitch. Look at this little Harry Potter looking bitch. Like a lot of y'all, like oh, I want these like little anime girls. This is what this is what these little anime girls look like. Check this out. Fifty six. What? Fifty six. Hero Miney has a body count of fifty six guys. 56. She has a body count of 56. Some of y'all out here like, I want these, I want these little anime girls. 56. Her body count is 50, 56. All right. And whatever a girl says, whatever a girl says, her body count is double it. All right. So if, if she says 56, that means she's been with 112 guys at least. Her husband's income be like 200,000 plus 200 to 50. 200. Are we like That's 100 K and up? If the average is like fifty, maybe like seventy plus. Okay. I guess maybe like like eighty k. Okay. His income should be something close to about one hundred and sixty thousand. Mm, I would like to say maybe a hundred thousand okay. at least. Yeah. I, this is so high, but I guess you'd have to be like a millionaire. <laughs> a millionaire. Oh. No, tell me with this. Interesting that your reaction is to attack the men who are leaving. You know, guys, I'm telling y'all, like, I'm telling y'all, like, why would it, why would any man in the West get in a relationship? I used to say this before, back when I was a MGTOW, when I was the face of MGTOW, I used to say it clearly. Women plan the divorce before they plan the wedding. Women are planning their divorce before they plan the wedding. They're planning the exit before they're planning the entrance. And tell them that they're losers who aren't good enough to get a woman in the West. Yep. Once again. It's the man's fault. And you attack us Asian women too. You call us poor, uneducated, submissive, desperate women who are happy with your table scraps and rejects. But if you truly believe we were getting your leftovers, the men you don't want anyway, then why do you sound so angry and defensive about it and try to shame men for finding happiness here? Wouldn't you be thanking us for taking out your trash? 
And as far as Filipino women being uneducated, we have the same percentage of college graduates that you do. And what you call submissive is what we call being agreeable. He's breaking up with her boyfriend. <gasps> okay, quick backstory. He is, he's a good guy. He's nice and all, but he just ain't it. What? The moment she says good guy, they make it so seem so bad. Very good guy, then you don't deserve to get some. <sighs> and that's taking the dating world by storm, this thing called Passport Bros. And apparently these guys on TikTok are bragging about how they're going to other countries, they're finding more traditional women that can cook and clean and act like housewives. And the woke people are getting mad. The Western women are getting mad because our men are going across overseas to find um, more traditional women. You know the group of men that get passports and go to another country to find women? Because in America, women hate all men and men all cheat, blah, blah, this, that, and a third. And then the, the women are mad. The same women who hate men acted. Well, The thing is this, the women in other countries such as DR and Thailand and you know, these other, other countries, it's just culturally the norm for a woman to be cooking, for a woman to be take care of, care of her man, all that stuff. The whole independent woman thing is really a U.S. thing. Now, mm -hmm. The whole independent woman thing is really a U.S. thing. Okay, where they have this insane amount of money, where these women are literally just wasting money on everything. Oh, I need a maid. I'm not. I don't cook. I don't clean. If I eat, I'm, it, it better be Uber Eats. All right, better be DoorDash. It better be. You know, if I if my house is clean, I didn't clean it. All right, my maid cleaned it. You know, I have a. This is a lot of women in America have maids. All right, they have they have they order their food or they have Sims paying for food for them. And they don't clean up after themselves. Their houses are dirty. Guys, I'm going to tell you something. Years ago, I was living in this place. I was living in this place in this expensive neighborhood. I'm being real with y'all. Like I was living in this expensive neighborhood. And it was one of those places that is, I'm trying to like uh, live for the right, right way to describe this. All right. It was... Um, it was a place where you didn't really see too much. Um, it wasn't very colorful. This was a very, very expensive neighborhood. The lady who I rented my house, rented my place from, she straight up told me, I don't rent to women. Young women, basically. Doesn't rent to young women. Because she said they don't take good they don't take good care off my places, off my houses. The houses were her sons. Her son would go around, buy property, fix them up, and her and his mother would manage them. She was a really nice Polish lady, one of the nicest, one of a very sweet lady, very sweet lady. But she was like, "I don't rent. I don't rent to. I don't rent to women. I don't rent to women. I don't rent to young women." This was like ten years ago. Like women from other countries, women from other countries have like a thing against American women and people don't even realize it. Women from other countries that come from countries with culture and class, they don't, they look down upon American women. They look down upon American women. They don't want their kids associated with them. Okay. This was a grown ass woman. All right. She was way older than my mother. And this woman was like literally, and her son, her son was like, her son was like a huge, huge, just huge, big guy. Like not fat, but like mus like muscular, strong, huge beard. <laughs> and he was like talking to her like mommy. He was like, mommy, mom, mom, mom. And it's just crazy. He was like literally like that's his mommy. And it's like they don't want they don't want anything to do with american women they don't want to have anything to do with american women because american women are spoiled they're disrespectful 
You know, as a, as men, we know we we we're going to be held accountable. Society is going to hold us accountable. We can't do the stupidity that American women get away with. Like we're going to be held accountable, and even if and we we'll, you know we will be ashamed of ourselves. Like if we do something stupid, if we if we rent an apartment and we trash it, most of us are going to be ashamed of that. Like we have there's a certain thing, and it's sadly it's going away, but men have a certain amount of integrity are supposed to have a certain amount of integrity a certain amount of class honor it's something that women don't have accountability men have to be accountable and when we don't act accountable when we don't when we do when we act dishonorable it makes us feel it makes us like dirt women on the other hand who don't have who don't act honorable who don't are not accountable it doesn't matter because society views them like children so they can do whatever they want they have the powers they have american society is basically structured like this now women have special privileges and men have special punishments we kind of ruin it for ourselves a little bit being too strong and being too independent because then we don't allow the guy to be a guy so there's a lot of guys right now going to other countries to find wives but I will say the caveat with that is that they don't realize that once they bring those girls here, and they're happy with that. Yeah, so don't bring them back. <laughs> All right, let's see what else is there. That lifestyle, then it could work. Why is when women can't pay for their children, they can get government assistance, but when men can't pay for it, we go to jail? A good question. This is how to get a guy to approach you at a bar. This idea came to That's nice and all, but if you want a guy's I mean guys, I'm not gonna feel, I'm not gonna watch this entire video, but you see what it's about. You know, we're gonna wonder why password bros are leaving because password men are leaving because men are tired of the nonsense, they're done with the bullshit. You know, men are just done with the bullshit like once once and for all. Like, you know, like fuck that shit, I'm out. Done with the bullshit. Let me know if you what do you think about this? This what's happening here? How password bros are leaving, leaving, and women are upset. Let me know about you what you think about this phenomenon. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Turn on notifications, never miss another video again. Like, share, subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.